Hello friends, welcome to next lecture in kinematics of machines. So in this video lecture, we shall see few examples on instantaneous centers. That is, we shall determine the angular velocities of the links for the slider crank mechanism and four bar mechanism in this video lecture. So this is going to be the part one of this lecture with some simple problems. And then the part two of this lecture will have some more complex problems. So please stay tuned with this video lecture. So before we begin with this lecture, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please click the bell icon for the latest notification on the lectures that will be uploaded on this YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. The links are in the description below. So friends, let's begin with this video lecture. So the first case we shall take for the four bar mechanism and we have the problem statement as a pin jointed four bar mechanism as shown in the figure. So we here we have the figure of the four bar mechanism with AD as the fixed link which is 600 mm long, then AB as 300 mm long, BC as 360 mm long and CD also equal to BC as 360 mm long. So here it is given that the crank AB rotates at 100 rpm. Find the angular velocity of the link BC using instantaneous center of rotation when angle BAD is 60 degrees. So let us see how to solve about with this problem. So the first step is to draw the given mechanism with the proper dimensions which are given. Then here we need to convert this RPM of the crank into its angular velocity that is omega AB will be equal to 2 pi NAB upon 2. NAB is given as 100 RPM. So substituting that we get omega AB as 10.47 radians per second. So with this angular velocity, we can calculate the linear velocity of this point B. So before that, we have to take this length AB, which is given in mm into meters. So you can also keep this value in mm and calculate it. No problem. But converting into meter will make this digit very small and very simple to calculate rather than no more number of digits, which will appear in mm. Only for that reason, I have converted here this mm into meter. So now the velocity of this AB will be omega AB into length AB. So that comes to 3.141 meters per second. So the velocity or the linear velocity of AB will be same as that of the linear velocity of this point B because it lies on this link AB. So now with this linear velocity, we'll find what will be the angular velocity of this link BC using the instantaneous centers. So the next step is to locate the number of instantaneous centers. So here for any mechanism, the number of instantaneous centers are calculated using this equation that is capital N is equal to small n into n minus 1 by 2, where small n is the number of links in the mechanism. So we have already seen in the previous lecture how to determine the number of instantaneous centers for the four bar mechanism as well as for the slider crank mechanism. So you can refer to the video on this lecture which will appear on the top right corner as the YouTube i card. So now continuing with this problem, we substitute here the value of n as 4 because we have 4 links. So that will come to 6. So the number of instantaneous centers in a four bar mechanism are six. So four of these are located on this mechanism itself. That is A and uh, D will have two instantaneous center that is I12 and I14. These are the fixed instantaneous centers. Then the other two instantaneous center are on the joint C and on the joint B, which are permanent instantaneous center. And the other two are neither permanent nor fixed and they will be obtained by extending these links. So we extend link AD and link BC to get the instantaneous center I24. Similarly, we extend AB and CD to get the instantaneous center I13. Now we have located these instantaneous centers. So based on what uh, angular velocity of that link is asked, we have to measure those particular distances of this vertex to the instantaneous centers. Now here in this problem, we have been asked to determine the angular velocity of BC. So this can be given by the equation as the linear velocity of this B will be equal to the angular velocity of this BC into the distance between the instantaneous center I13 and the vertex B. So omega, BC, 
uh, omega bc or omega b will be equal to vb upon i13 v so that when we simplify vb as 3.141 which we have calculated and i13 b the distance upon measuring this measuring will come into mm and converting that into meter it will be 0.495 and this upon equating we get this as 6.345 radians per second so similarly if any other links are asked say for example if cd is asked then we need to measure this distance that is i13 to point c to determine the angular velocity of this link cd clear so in this problem statement only bc was asked so we just considered i13 b as the uh, distance between the instantaneous center and the point b so this is for the four bar mechanism now we shall move for the second case that is slider crank mechanism so here we have the problem statement a slider crank mechanism as shown in the figure over here we have the crank bc as 220 mm then the connecting rod ab as 570 mm so this crank bc rotates at 100 rpm find the angular velocity of the link ab that is the connecting rod using instantaneous center of rotation when angle bca is 45 degrees so here the first step is that we draw this given mechanism using the angle as 45 degrees the proper link lengths so again here we have converted these link lengths from mm into meter for the simplification of this problem so first step convert the rpm of the crank as the angular velocity of the crank so again we do the same step that is 2 pi and bc upon 2 so substituting that we get the angular velocity of bc so this has to be bc there is a small typing error here so this omega bc will be 10.47 radians per second the length bc will be equal to 220 mm so we convert that into meter as 0.22 mm so velocity of this point b will be omega bc into bc so we have already calculated this omega bc here so substitute that as 10.47 and the link length bc is 0.22 meters so substitute that we get it as 2.303 meters per second now with this velocity of this point b and the angular velocity of a b and the instantaneous center will calculate the angular velocity of this connecting rod a b so now the next step is to locate the number of instantaneous centers so again we have the equation number of instantaneous centers will be equal to small n into n minus 1 by 2 and small n is the number of links in the mechanism so again here for the slider crank mechanism we have number of links as 4 so we get the total number of instantaneous centers as 6 so for slider crank mechanism we have three uh, two fixed instantaneous centers that is i12 at joint c and i34 at joint a one permanent instantaneous center at this joint b the other instantaneous centers are obtained by uh, joining the adjacent links so first one we draw a straight line from point c vertically upwards and this will be i14 which will be at infinity similarly i14 from this slider will be also at infinity so these together will be one instantaneous center which will be at infinity next upon extending this link bc we get here the instantaneous center i13 and extend this ab and we'll get the instantaneous center i24 so totally these are the six instantaneous centers which are obtained using the slider in, in the slider crank mechanism now we need to measure the distance of this i13 to point b to determine the angular velocity of this link ab so now we shall see how to determine the angular velocity of this link ab so here va or vab or vb will be equal to i13 upon i13 b that is va that is velocity of this point a will be equal to velocity of this point b into i13 a upon i13 b that is i13 a upon i13 b so these two distance ratios we are taking so va we have seen it will it will be vb into vb is calculated as 2.303 so substitute vb as 2.303 i13 a upon measuring we get it as 0.68 meters then i13 b upon measuring we get at 0.76 meters so again here upon measuring we get that in mm and then convert that into meter this is very very important 
So once these values are measured and substituted here, we get the velocity of this point A as 2.061 meters per second. So omega AB will be equal to VB upon I13B. So VB we have already seen it is 2.303 and I13B is 0.76. So this will come to 3.030 radians per second. So this is the ultimate answer that we need which is the angular velocity of AB. So here what we calculate it is the linear velocity of the slider because slider will move in the straight line or the linear motion. So there won't be any angular velocity for the slider. Hence this VA which we have calculated will give the linear velocity of the slider. And now omega which we have calculated here will give the angular velocity of this AB. So friends that's all for today in this video lecture on the examples of instantaneous centers part 1. So if you have understood the explanation for both the problems please like and share this video with your friends. So any doubts in the either of these examples please feel free to put your doubt in the comment section below. Also subscribe to this channel if you have not yet subscribed and follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. The links are in the description below. So friends, thank you very much.